The hinges are the most important part of this project. Project? Progress. The hinges are the most important part. Impact, 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 impact. I need coffee. Hinges, good. No hinges, bad. That's how that works. So that this thing can take the weight of a fully loaded bookcase. That's the goal, that's the idea. I'm gonna be using some nice eight quarter maple for the hinge joint side on this. So it's just gonna be super strong, nice big hardwood. And so it's gonna be all sorts of funky dados and cuts and rabbits and things. And then the entire front facing is all gonna be the maple as well. It's all gonna be painted white so that it will fit in the space and actually really look like it's supposed to be there, which is always the goal. So that's the story with the hinges in the face frame and we're gonna get to all that shortly. But first we're gonna get our wheels mounted. Look at this thing. It's three and a half by three, uh, three, three. Three and a half by three and a half. This is a half, quarter inch thick. Whee! So that will sit there. Wheels. So I got some bolts, we'll bolt it through with three or four bolts. You understand? And then it will sit like that on this side. So we'll have hardware up top, be enough room, and this pops out and you can do service and maintenance through the side. Always think about service and maintenance if you're building something. Do you need access to a screw, to a bolt, to a thing later on? If you can't get to it, there's gonna be a problem. Now, I dealt with this for so many years when I was working with mechanical systems and all of that. You have an engineer and they make something and then you end up with a bolt or a screw that you need to take apart 15 other things to get to when it didn't need to be there. So think critically and think about if you needed to take it apart or fix something, how can you do that after it's made? It really makes a difference. And that kind of quality in your product, just gonna make people like it even more because those are the things that nobody thinks about. So think about them. So with the plate on and the wheels installed, the final height adjustments will be done on site at the client's house. But now it's time to tackle those hinges. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again. The hinges really are the most important part of this build. Hey, I said it right that time. So with the hinges, take your time, make sure you have a template, or you make yourself a template and do a few tests first to make sure you know that it's gonna work out because you really only get one chance. So make sure that one chance is worth it. And above all, just follow the instructions. That's what they're there for. So with everything properly marked out and ready to go, I could set up my template for my first cut, adjust the height of my router bit, and we could get to cutting. So the process I used to cut these hinges was pretty simple. I had my template and a flush trim router bit. So I ran that bit down in slow increments until the depth of cut was the height of the outside ears, we'll call them, of the hinges. So with the ears cut, I could then remove my template and put in these tiny little templates that I made so that I could cut down the entire thickness of the hinge body. So the depth of cut on the hinge body isn't as imperative as the thickness of the, of the ears. 
So you just kind of had to make it a little bit longer because you're just looking for space for that hinge to sit in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven to go. Oh, I'm covered in man glitter. Oh, the man glitter. Do I look pretty in my man glitter? <laughs> okay, halfway done. Got four, cut. And I think, if I do say so myself, that they are looking rather fabulous. So, I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna cut out our other four. Uh, drill some holes, run the screws in, hope and pray that it is good. And if it's not, then I'm just gonna cry because that's how that goes. So, did it work? Oh, it worked. Oh my God, they're all done. All of them, all of them are done. I have no idea how they fit yet, but they're cut. So, see how they fit. Oh, that's great. It's perfect. Okay, let's get these drilled in. So with the hinges installed and the social media content filmed, the next part of this process is to figure out how to make all of these funky little cuts to make these hinges actually fit properly with this face frame that I still need to make. So let's build a face frame tomorrow because today has been a really long day. Oh! Oh, you okay? Oh no, that was a big fall.